All right, from the top. Did the record at MAPS here in Fullerton. Overall, it took about three months to do over the course of a year. What a strange year it had been. Talking about this record is, for better or for worse, always gonna be framed around COVID. We started this record in everything that was normal for life, and then towards the end of it, we're slowly watching these statistics like rolling through the country, and we're like, are, uh, uh, we're like this close to finishing the record, you know? So we recorded a week before the lockdown went into effect. So before that we heard, or at least I was hearing like, okay, the COVID is getting worse and stuff like that. But you never think like we're gonna go into, into a lockdown in the way it happened this time. This is like a once in a lifetime, hopefully, experience. We were so lucky to it, coincidentally, coincidentally like schedule the record right then. Like if absolutely. we don't push it back a week. It would have gotten broken up and the whole thing would have know. just kind of been yeah, broken up. but like we were able to create this record in like for me my last like true memory in the studio, not tripping out about COVID. No, yeah, you know? we, there was no, you know, because it was like I said, it was coming. It was before anything happened really, and so we were unmasked and yeah. just not a care in the world. <laughs> I mean, not to get too sentimental, but like that is captured within the record. Oh, absolutely. You know, like it really is this sense of like something that's normal. And that's that's a crazy thing that you just that you just said. There's a freedom in in that music, you know, yeah. in that whole record. That brings me back to like this. Everybody's. It sounds silly, but everybody was unmasked. Kind of weird, smiling, right? and, you know. <laughs> it's just You're a like, weird. Oh wow, we didn't worry about going out to lunch. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. I think it's a different record than I've ever made before. Um, First of all, there's there's a lot of horns on it, which is like the the most kind of obvious thing. Mike had hit me up and said, we want to do horns on this album for a friend of mine. Uh, he's a singer-songwriter type. A lot of times when I hear that, I think of like, you know, just one dude with acoustic guitar maybe playing like some sad, like slow music. And I was like, oh, I've got it. I'll bring my flute. We're going to do a real pretty thing. This will be really nice. Then Mike sent me the tracks of it. And it's like, this is gonna be like exciting and fun. So the whole process was just like a, a good time. And I love the music of this album. I mean, I, I love all the music that I play with David, but this album, it has something special. And like the, he himself says like, he tried to write music that kind of like would propel the, um, the talents of each of the band members. It's always easy working with David. I mean, I've gone on tour with him a couple of times and basically he wants to hone in what he's looking for through like your skill set. So he kind of lets you flourish a little bit and then he kind of reins it in to really where he wants it to be. Texting you some different names and, and you're like, well, that sounds like a high school, you know, record. <laughs> you know, it's like, it like, it's all about love or something like that or some other yeah. different names I was coming up with the album. What does this encompass? What does this album say? And you said, well, there's this line and I, it's this word that always kind of, kind of stuck out to me. It's revive. I said, oh, yeah, it does, you know, sit real well. And so I sat with that. We decided that's that's the one. That's I didn't it, think it was gonna pass because like at first you gave me a little pushback. You're like, only one word. I was like, man, like this is like this is so simple. When do I not give a little pushback I know, though? I know, that's why but I'm, I'm usually I usually come around. You know, having the record go through like this historic moment, you know what I mean, in the world. It's yeah, and it's I mean, just like coincidentally within the lyrics of your record, like yeah. This is it, man, for me, and I'm, yeah, I'm really happy. We finished it pretty much before the pandemic started, worked on it a little bit, and it's it's coming back up. It's rising from the ashes. It's a phoenix, and I think the vibes are so good on this album. It just definitely has this this feel-good, um, I don't know if feel-good's the right word, but... I don't know, man. I just think it's like an honest record that's just like human to human, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, you could tell it's a band in a room, you could tell that it's real people working on this record, creating something that's just like, honest, you know what I mean? It's not, 
it's not dividing, it's not one way or the other, like everything we've been experiencing mm -hmm. so much in this world. And it's just like, it's really meant to bring people together yeah. and just sit down, enjoy some music, love all the people around you and just see what's beautiful in the world, you know? Yeah, when we were recording it, you know, you're like, people need this album. Yeah. They need this, they need to hear this. And I'm like, yeah, it's got that. What I wanted to accomplish with this album was, was really just to have some great songs and a solid vibe. And like I've said before, strange times need good vibes. And it's, it's the truth, and <laughs> it's absolutely the truth. Let alone.